With 2018 being an important year for elections here in Arizona, one group is working to make sure political groups are more transparent, especially with their advertisements. Reporter Sydney Eisenberg shows us how a former attorney general is working to keep dirty money out of the political game he was involved in for seven years. Former Arizona Attorney General and Mayor of Phoenix Terry Goddard wants companies to show Arizonans the money. Dark money, that is. His new campaign, Outlaw Dirty Money, is currently holding a petition drive in order to collect enough signatures to amend the Arizona Constitution. The change would allow Arizonans to know who is donating to political advertisements for candidates and propositions. This state is the playground for the people who want to control our politics, but not to have their names on the ballot and not to have their names in even the disclosure. He is not the only one fighting this issue. Democratic Representative Ken Clark introduced Arizona House bills 2049 and 2050 earlier this month, which aim to make companies here in Arizona and out of state more transparent with their political donations. If Arizona, having had more dirty money than any place else, stands up against it and says no more, that's going to resonate across the entire country, other states and Congress, hopefully. Goddard believes that the topic will unfortunately not be brought up during President Trump's State of the Union. I would say the chances are zero that the president will address this in the State of the Union, just like Governor Ducey won't address it, uh, because he is a beneficiary of dirty money. The outlaw dirty money campaign needs over 225,000 signatures by this summer. If enough signatures are determined to be valid, voters could see the amendment on the ballot this November. In Phoenix, Sydney Eisenberg, Cronkite News. According to the Morrison Institute for Public Policy at Arizona State University, during the 2012 election cycle, $336 million were spent on presidential and congressional campaigns by dark money nonprofits.